All books become favourites. There's one for every day and every mood. My choice today is Sokoto, The Art of Gerard Sokoto, published in 1995 by Pavilion Publishers in the United Kingdom. I was involved from its conception, its design, its content, and in writing the introductory essay. You could therefore say I'm biased. The purpose of this publication was to introduce Sokoto, his artistic genius, and his legacy to the great outside world. That was in 1995. And despite accolades and its accompanying publicity, when it was published, sales were flat and interest waned. It was just too soon in the matter of public opinion. The book is beautifully produced, and the reproduction of the colours in the paintings is of excellent quality. Each painting is accompanied by a specific commentary from Sokoto. This offers an intimacy and personal insight into the artist's mind and his purpose of creative drive. He speaks directly to the reader. The book was published 26 years ago. In these times of COVID and with Black Lives Matter movement of last year, Sokoto's own life experience is a shocking but necessary reminder that Black Lives Mattering has been an endemic problem for countless generations. As Sokoto says in this book, you have never known what it is to be humiliated deep into the very mind as an individual and as well as being a member of those people who are globally undergoing the same humiliation through the guilt and the colour of their skin, therefore deemed as the oppressed. As the author, I do feel the small book is precious and well worth reading, considering and contemplating. It offers a quiet journey into the privacy of a very private man's life, where he generously exposes his feelings and his creative journey and energy. When published, Sokoto was not well known. Now he is a revered figure and an inspiration to many. His work is found in major museum collections, institutions and important private collections. This little publication explains why.